Hi, I'm Jeff Hutchings, and this is how to use the Vintage Limiter in BandLab. For the Vintage Limiter settings to work correctly on a track, tap on the Mixer Settings icon. Then double tap on the dot on the track volume slider. This will set the volume slider to 0 dB. Then tap on the Mixer Settings icon again. Now double tap on the Track Header icon. Then tap on Effects. Tap on the plus icon to create a new effects preset or tap on the Preset Edit icon if you have already created an effects preset. If you have already created an effects preset, tap on the effect furthest to the right. This is because the Vintage Limiter wants to be your last effect. Then tap on the plus icon. Now scroll through the tabs and tap on the Compressors tab. Then scroll down the list and tap on Vintage Limiter. The Vintage Limiter is a compressor, so the volume sets the maximum output volume. Tap on the volume text box, type in minus 3, and tap on save. This will stop the track clipping and going into the red on the master volume meter. Enhance sets the amount of harmonic distortion that occurs when the input volume is higher than the maximum output volume. Drag the dot to the right to increase the amount of harmonics. Or to the left to reduce them. Here I will leave it set to zero. Attack sets how quickly the limiter stops the input volume going higher than the maximum output volume. Drag the dot to the left to make the limiter stop the input volume faster. Here I want it as quick as possible, so I will drag the dot on the attack slider all the way to the left. This should stop all the input volume from going higher than the minus 3 dB I set the volume to. Release sets how long the limiter reduces the input volume when the input volume is above the maximum output volume. Dragging the dot on the release slider to the right will increase the time, reducing the amount of your phone's power the limiter uses, but may also make the limiter effect more obvious and your track sound choppy. Here I will drag the dot on the release slider all the way to the left for a quicker release and smoother response. Knee sets how quickly the limiter reduces the input volume back down to the maximum output volume. Dragging the dot on the knee slider to the left reduces the volume back down more gradually and slowly. Here I want the volume to be reduced as quickly as possible. So I will drag the dot on the knee slider all the way to the right. Gain sets the input volume. And as I have set the limiter last in the FX chain, and I am using the limiter to stop the track clipping. Here I will use the gain slider to set the track volume instead of using the volume slider on the track header. 
Dragging the dot on the gain slider right will increase the track volume. If you drag the dot all the way to the right, the track volume will increase to the maximum level of the limiter input, but will be reduced back down to the maximum output volume of the limiter volume. If you drag the dot on the gain slider too far to the right, the track will sound squashed and flat. So for this track, I will drag the dot on the gain slider to the right until the gain text box says about plus five. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.